people welcome back to the channel um you know me just realized that for a channel that's supposed to be based on tech and gaming i don't have any tech related videos on the channel so luckily that's about to change now with this new series that i'm launching called cyber saturdays all right the name definitely a work in progress we'll probably be changing it sometime soon but for the time being it's cyber saturdays so Let's get right into what we'll be discussing today. Alright, so basically yesterday I was able to attend the Techfluence Summer Showcase. Basically an online event where different companies were showcasing tech that they had on offer or things that will be available in the near future. There were companies there like Roku, EasyViz was there too, they make fantastic cameras. Uh, there would be some other companies that I would not have been familiar with before yesterday. But trust me, the products on offer ranged from, yo, that's sick, to, well, that's kind of cool, to, well, that's interesting. So in this video, we're going to take a quick look through all the products that were on offer. Keep in mind, this is not a full review of any other products. Each company is going to have a separate video focusing on their products. Look out for that in the next couple of days. I don't know which company I'm going to start with first. Yeah, but definitely going to be covering all the products that were on offer. Look out for those videos. Until then, though, let's talk less and jump right into the first product. All right, so first up on the list has to be the Tenuto. This, this was the one that I was like, well, that's interesting. When I first saw this, I, I, I was literally thinking, what kind of torture device is this? But as I started reading more into it and watching the videos and seeing what it is, it can be described as, uh, if I had to sum up what this thing is in a few words, I'm calling it pleasure tech. Yeah, that's right. I'm coining that phrase right now. This is pleasure tech. Okay, so this little gem right here is from Mystery Vibes. Apparently, they're an award-winning world leader in medical devices created for sexual health. Let's just say this one intrigued me and I am looking forward to doing a video on this. All right. Putting my curiosity of the Tenuto aside for a second, Roku was also at this event. They were probably one of the bigger companies here and they had three items on offer. They had a streaming stick, they had the Roku Express and they also had the Stream Bar Pro. Of the three items they had on offer, the Stream Bar was definitely one that piqued my interest the most. If I had to describe it in my own words, it seemed like a smart sound bar with the functionality of an Android box. I'll be diving deeper into this in its own video, so you can also look out for that. The next company we're going to be looking at is Ear Selfie. And honestly, this was the first thing that I checked out because it immediately grabbed my attention and their featured item the ear neo it grabbed me it has me and it won't let go i want no i need one of these i don't know why but the prospect of having a ai controlled tiny little drone following you around and taking pictures and shooting videos for you I, I am intrigued and amazed by that. They had a few other items, more like accessories. They had the ear power bank sleeve, they had the universal power bank, but I'm more interested in the ear neo. I'm looking forward to doing a video on the ear neo. Next on the list we have Anchor and I have to admit I wasn't familiar with this brand. But after checking out their items, 
I, I'm wondering, how is it that I survived without any of these things? I mean, they have things like the Anchor 757 Powerhouse. I'm here and I'm like, how is it that I'm surviving without one of these? This thing is the definition of multifunctional. It is also lightweight. Why don't I have one of these? They also have the UFI H30 handheld vacuum, which is it's kind of strange because I was thinking about getting a handheld vacuum the other day and looking at this, yeah, this might be it. Oh yeah, they also had the, the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K projector. This one, not only does the name sound really cool, it looks awesome and I've been trying to start a family movie room for some time now but I could not find a good projector and honestly looking at this one, I'm interested in it. The two remaining items that they had on offer was the U5 video doorbell. This was interesting but it's, it's kind of niche, it would not have any value to me because of how my door is you don't have immediate access to my front door so i would not find use for this but i can see where it would be useful to other persons and honestly it it's a cool device the final item they had on offer was the anchor work b600 I don't know what to say about this, it seems like a webcam, but most laptop and computers now come with built-in webcam, so I'd have to do a bit more digging to see what sets this apart from a regular webcam. Alright, next is a company that I am very familiar with. I've been seeing their products in every store. I was thinking about getting a few of them for myself and that company is Easy Viz. They make fantastic cameras as I pointed out earlier in the video. This time they had five devices on display. They had two doorbells. One was wireless, one was wired. I wasn't too interested in these because reasons mentioned before. They had a 2K detachable camera. That, that, that was awesome. It's battery operated and I think it might have magnets in it because you can detach it and reattach it to other surfaces. I found that awesome. They also had a 2K outdoor camera. I think this one tracks your movement. I am not too sure. The final item they had on offer was a 2K AI controlled camera. To say I was intrigued by this would be an understatement. I've never seen an AI controlled camera before so I was fascinated by this. I'm still fascinated by this. I'm hoping I can get my hands on one of these cameras because I want to know what this AI camera can do. Up next was JLab and they had a whopping 15 devices. A lot of the devices were not yet available and would become available later this year but they still had a wide selection of devices ranging from headsets, keyboard, cameras, mouses, mice, mice, whatever they're called. But their products really grabbed my attention because a lot of what they're selling are devices that I currently have versions of that I am considering changing and JLab seems to have a wide selection of these devices ranging from budget option to more high-end versions so I'm looking forward to doing a deeper dive into their products to see what I am interested in and what I'm thinking about getting for myself. Next, I had a look at OWC Otherworld Computing and I'm saddened to say that before the showcase, I was not very familiar with them. I'm pretty sure that I have seen devices from them, but I was not familiar with them, which is strange because they have been around from 1988, but maybe it's because they cater to the PC Master Race, which I am 
sadly not a part of and most of their devices is geared towards PCs. That being said though, I'm still looking forward to a deep dive into their tech to see what they have to offer and what I've been missing out on. Next we had a look at Privacy Hero. They only had one device on offer which was their privacy route and if I'm being honest I'm finding it hard to tell what is the difference between this and a VPN. I guess a VPN is tied to a subscription and it might be limited to the amount of devices while this seems to be I don't I don't see any mention of a subscription yet and it seems that any device that is connected to it is granted its protection. I'm going to be doing a deeper dive into this but honestly I think I would need hands-on experience with this to see what is the benefit of having this over a free VPN. Next I had a look at the Ricoh 360 cameras and they had the Tita X on display. I'm really hoping I'm seeing that right. It's it's basically a 360 degree camera. I don't know what else I can say about it. Uh, reading about it, they seem to be marketing it as being something that, you know, you make fun memories with that you can share with your family. But I don't know. I'm seeing more of the business aspect to this. This, this would be a great tool in something like real estate. Having persons able to have a 360 degree view of a room or of a house that they might be interested in in case they can't make it to an, an open house. It, that seems like a very practical use of this. I mean, it can even be used in construction. Not saying that you can't use it to make memories, but I mean, you can also use it to make money. What more than that do you need? Next, we had a look at the WoW Cube from QB OS, and I was interested in this, but not for myself. It seemed like an awesome distraction to my daughter. And to be fair, I see where they were running apps on it like WhatsApp and some other things. It has built-in speakers. It has a, a lot of screens. But I was left wondering how would you use WhatsApp on this? How would a few other apps perform? Because it, it seems like basically a digital Rubik's Cube to me. Ah, uh, I'm hoping in my deep dive I get... A bit more information on it it's practical uses I saw where they were using it like as a night light and a few other things um, I, I want to know the level of games that can be run on this because it's marketed as an entertainment system so I'm expecting music that should be easy games but what kind of games how would video operate on it? Because if you can download apps on it, is it a case where it has a set ecosystem where there are only apps available for it? Or is it a case where it's going to be able to run Android apps? I also see where they said you can create your own apps. I, I'm curious as to that. I'm hoping to get some more info on this during my deep dive so i can at least shed some light on it because i i know a lot of persons are curious about it also the final item i was able to take a look at was the zbeck tri screen 2 and it's basically what it says it is it's a device that you put over your laptop screen and it gives it basically two additional screens I don't know if there's functionality to those two screens. I'm hoping that there is and it is not just extra screen real estate. I'm hoping that the screens are touch screen because if, if they are, there is so much possibilities to the things that you can do with that. There's going to be no need for having a 
tri monitor setup you can basically have that on the go so hopefully my deep dive it provides me with some more information on this i'm very interested in this and with that being said that was a brief look at the devices that we had available at the showcase as i said i'll be doing individual videos for each of these devices so in order not to miss that don't forget to like and hit that bell icon so you're notified when those videos go live all right now go lie there was quite a number of devices at the showcase that I am interested in. I'm hoping that depending on availability of review units, I might be able to get my hands on a few of them. At least that way I'll be able to get some hands-on experience and I can give you my honest opinion on how I feel about the device after having it and using it for a period of time. Until then, I'll be seeing you on the next episode of Cyber Saturdays or whatever this ends up being called.